What's up guys, welcome to this video. So I've gotten quite a few questions on our last video, the full day of eating vlog. Um, so I thought we could just take today's video to answer them. Does that sound okay, Matt? Sounds okay to me. Yeah, we're on our way to the rock gym and Matt is going to be my coach today. That's all I can be. Yeah. He, um, he's gonna tell me what to do, I'm not gonna be negative, and I'm gonna do it, so that's gonna be great. Um, but let's get to these questions. Two questions from Beth. What is your go-to food item that's not necessarily healthy? What's yours, Matt? Uh, it's somewhere between, because, uh, you know, I got out of surgery and I wanted something, right, you know? Uh, what it was, was between Amy's margarita pizza, the one with the <laughs> vegan cheese, or the, uh, again, it's an Amy's product, that mac and cheese with the Z. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah so it's one of those two things. It, and the reason is, it's like, even when I didn't have a lot of appetite, I still wanted that. And so that's how I know that's probably my go-to. Something <laughs> along those lines. Because <laughs> it's true love. My food, my go-to food, I will never say no to a big bowl of oatmeal, but not like a usual oatmeal. It's an oatmeal loaded with like brown sugar, maple syrup, like nuts and peanut butter and ground flax seeds and like dried fruit, chocolate chips. That sounds amazing to me. I've been known to make bowls of oatmeal about 1200 calories, so don't think it's healthy in any way. <laughs> That'd probably be my go-to. Was it supposed to be healthy? She said that's not necessarily healthy. Okay, so. that's not healthy. No, I mean, yeah. and I mean, it's not that it's terrible for you, it's just, it's very easy to over consume, I think. Very calorically dense. How did you get into the health and fitness coaching and lifting? I have two videos. It's my fitness journey part one and then part two that I uploaded I think sometime last year onto this channel. So it was before we had an RV channel. This was a fitness channel so there's a ton of fitness, health, food related videos um, back whenever it was just me on the channel. Basically I just slowly got into lifting and fitness because I, I didn't want to be weak. Um, I was very physically weak but I also just had a terrible relationship with food in my body so I wanted to change that and I saw all of these women that lifted it was whenever CrossFit started to get really big. I saw all these women that looked badass. Like they looked absolutely awesome. And then they looked and seemed really confident and strong. So I wanted to do that. So that was kind of one of the motivating factors to getting into lifting. Obviously that question was for you, not me. Yeah, I mean, you can answer it. No, I'm not a one like <laughs> coach or whatever. How long have you both been vegan? Were either of you vegan before you got married or did you make that decision after marriage? Been vegan for going on two years now. And it was right around the same time that we went vegan and we were definitely not vegan before we got married. Um, in fact, he was probably the most, the least vegan person I've ever known. Um, and then I ate a ton of animal products, especially once I get in, got into bodybuilding. I ate a lot of like lean animal source products, ton, cartons of egg whites every week. So it's been going about two years now and only regret that I have about being vegan is that I didn't make that connection sooner. Yeah, two years in October. Yep, this question is for you, Matt. Hey. Is there an entertainment center trick enabling us to show our downloaded videos through the TV? When we plug in the aux cable from the tablet into the panel, the sound comes on, comes out of the sound bar. However, we don't know if we can get the picture. Any advice? I don't know. I think they overestimated your... Yeah, my <laughs> My ability there. Electronic capabilities. Look, I'm good with it if I'm actually working with it. It's one of you those can see things. It. Well, and, assume uh, that it's the same thing as ours. My only suggestion is go straight to the forums. I mean, just Google it, and then there's going to be a ton of forums that pop up. There's always answers on there, especially if it's like an Apple product, which it sounds like it is. It, it should be super simple. Mm -hmm. um, but why not just cast it? I don't know. Is it a Wi-Fi okay. issue? Maybe that is the issue. I feel Apple like, TV. yeah, I mean, yeah, you can go through Chromecast, Apple TV, I mean, there's so many different things now. I mean, that's the easiest way, obviously, but if you're trying to go aux, uh, I don't know. That stuff always bothered me, because sometimes it worked, sometimes it didn't, sometimes there's like eight different versions of it, depending on the type of TV you have. I mean, good luck. <laughs> 
Um, Forums. This, this isn't necessarily like a question question, but I wanted to include it. I think this was a person that talked about the bacon, egg, lettuce, tomato sandwich, and they said, what doesn't sound delicious about a belt sandwich? Don't you like lettuce? That's what I want you to talk about. You want me to do it again? Because, no, the lettuce, because I said Matt's a vegan that doesn't like many vegetables, so please elaborate. Okay, well, lettuce... Not just egg. lettuce. What? Any vegetable. No, 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 no. So no, I, like, no, no, no. I like spinach, I like arugula even, and that's even bitter. Uh, I mean, there's a lot of vegetables I do like, but just in most cases, I, they don't belong where they are. Like, sand, <laughs> any kind of sandwich and burger, they shouldn't have tomatoes, onions, and lettuce. Like, I want to taste like the main, like, oh it doesn't gosh. need a ton of stuff. You can give me a salad on the you side. You the flavor of the actual burger yeah, itself. Yeah. Yeah, and I was like that before I was vegan too as well. Um, and so that's why she was saying I was like the most, like, you know, partly I was the furthest away from being vegan in her mind. So. Because all he would eat was meat and cheese, like, and fried things. So, fried like, things. French fries yeah. and I don't know, what, are, what other things you can fry. Whatever yeah, you can so fry. Fried vegetables. I mean, I'm still down there. Maybe. Down, but yeah. Yeah, maybe. Strange. But yeah, so I'm not a big fan of sandwiches with lettuce and tomato. Or veggies in general. Or veggies. Well, sometimes. Well, obviously not now, because I have veggie Very burgers. Picky. Yeah, that's true. But that's true. You can sneak flavored. them in. Curious, why do you and Matt always eat different things? Just dietary preference? Different goals? Yep. Oh. Yeah. Pretty much the first one. Dietary it's preference. A, yeah, it's preference. Yeah. It's not different goals necessarily. I mean, you're stricter mm. with your goals. Yeah, that's very true. But, like, I, I still have, like, I mean, I would like that. I would like abs or whatever whatever goal you're going for right now. <laughs> like, but at the same time, I'm like... But I also uh, really like this pizza. I'm going to... I'm going to... I'm going to... And it's gone. <laughs> exactly, yeah. Things I go well. Yeah. <laughs> well, not right now. Now I can't... I don't have a... Ton of, I mean, this is just because of legs. So it has nothing to do with the question or anything. And you're probably going to end up cutting it out. But I don't have that much of a appetite at the moment. I'm not like... Nom, 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 nom right now. I'm like... Nom, nom. I'll save this for later. <laughs> So, I like strange foods and strange combinations of foods. I've always been that yeah, way, you're weird. I think. And I think a lot of it does stem from my past of dieting. My taste buds have adapted to enjoy higher volume foods, so I'll add zucchini to oatmeal. Um, I'll do like a bunch of just weird things to basically make my food volume higher, but still keep the calories low. But I do enjoy the taste of it, so it's just what I've always liked. Don't get me wrong, I enjoy everything that he eats. I think it tastes good, but I would much rather have like a big salad bowl with some beans and like air fried tofu or something like that over his bowl of mac and cheese. I don't know, whatever whatever he eats. And I, I also like all vegetables and I could either eat them raw or I'll cook them up and add them to a big bowl and that's just not what he enjoys so yeah I mean it's a little mostly dietary preferences but it's also fitness goals I'd say I guess. because again I do enjoy what he eats but I got goals you know I got goals, I got goals sometimes too. it's not worth it for I me want to eat that pizza that is my goal sometimes it's not worth it for me to waste 600 calories on a couple slices of pizza um, sometimes it is you know, it just depends on the day, so. Every day is waste calories on pizza day. Pizza every day. That's it for the questions. Uh, is that all you got? 10 minutes, yeah. Yeah, that's pretty good. Hello. <laughs> all the questions that I had saved right now, um, of course, if you guys have any more, we are open to doing more Q and A's, so make sure and leave them in the comments below. We hope you guys are having a wonderful day. You make me uncomfortable. Yeah, okay, that's gonna be it. Well, have fun out there. Bye! Up to